first I nail this roof, and then I nail your mum. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's just, it's such an out of left field th What the hell? This is stage one. Okay. Here we go. Multi. Not looking forward to this at all. Really not looking forward to this. What's that? Backup mag. Okay. Not ideal. I just I just want to get stuck into this. Because I don't know if this is going to work or not. I really don't like multi. I, I just don't. His early game is insufferable. And I can't stand it. I just want to get my items. I want to power up. And I want to just forget about everything. Okay. Repulsion armor plate is, is probably a really good opening. I mean, multi is quite tanky. But with that kind of movement, you're kind of, you have to be tanky. Because you're going to get hit by something. Okay. Can I get... I think my main my main thing here is I need any form of healing and or speed. Those are those are my two must have items. Damage will come later. I'm not that fast. Because it's just it's ridiculous on how immobile this guy is. A mobility scooter has more sh movement. And that thing can only move at like 5 kilometers per second. Actually, that's quite fast. Gasoline might be the answer to our prayers. God, no. Where are they coming from? And why am I being just caught in a crossfire? Uh, I'm gonna... I think I'm... I think... Um, this run is probably going to have a loss of complaining. Not going to lie. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's already started. It's already started. The blind fest. The blind pest fiasco. Be gone, you demons. Be gone. You wicked tongued demons. I have no patience for your ilk. I want to get that. I do want to grab that healing joint though. Because I'm going to need it. I really am. He has... Multi just has no form of healing. And I think I also want to go Newt. Because I think I just want to grab Transcendence as soon as possible. I think Transcendence is... Is, is the way forward for Multi. Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping it would be. I was really hoping I'd get a foreign fruit. And I'm so glad I have that gasoline. Oh man, that's that's done so much. It's the oh baby, what's that? Oh knives. Oh lord. That that's Okay, that's extremely helpful. Now, the only thing I'd need is maybe just some kind of sh movement ability. Just, just because this base movement is terrible. Or maybe, while it's clear, I could hit TP if I find it in time. Ooh. No, actually, I'm not going to try my luck here. I can't afford to waste a single bit of health. I, I just don't think I can. Not with multi. Because I think I think his regen... It, it doesn't exist. He doesn't have regen. Ooh, that's nice. But yeah, I think, I think multi doesn't have much regen. He's incredibly tanky, 
but he regenerates like an amputated limb. It just it's not gonna happen. So if you lose your health, you're you're already fighting uh, a losing battle. It's just it's just a matter of attrition. That's kind of the way it works. Well, at least in my eyes. Ooh, a med kit. Mm, no, nope. because if we can do this, we're going straight for transcendence. Okay, delete you. You eliminate. Oh my goodness! Stop pushing me. Stop doing things. There we go. Right, I'm gonna need to pop that. I think I think I'm gonna go transcendence. Get me out of here. That that took that that was. Oh, ho, 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 for stage one, that that should not have been that rage-inducing for stage one. This was a bad decision. Do I go heretic? Do I go heretic on this run? Is is that just is that what I do? What is it? That's that's two items there. Hey, if I rolled it, I wouldn't have got it anyway. Okay. Um. Right. I'm looking for a transcendence, please. I could go. Hmm. I could go hook the heresy. Just one transcendence, please. 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 I could have gone heretic by now. Thank you. Okay. Um. Alright, that's good. That's, that's. That's fine. That's done. And. Uh, equipment is now useless. But that's all okay, because I don't have to worry about health regen, because I have no health regen. That's the main thing right now. No health regen, very little natural regen, which means that basically, yeah, it, it basically means that whatever health I am left with, that's what I'm working with until I find a way to regenerate, which is not fun. It's not fun as multi. Who's who's. Just one big walking target. But it seems that we're in luck because it's a it's an event. It's a Stone Titan event. So there's no chance of getting swarmed by aerial attacks. All I have to watch out for is just what's going on in front of me. And we should be golden. You know, deal with the Stone Titan. And that should be stage two pretty much wrapped up. Just hoping I can get some movement. Just, just that's it. Just all the movement. I'll say it a thousand times. I'll say it a hundred million times. I'll say a hundred quintillion times. More movement. Meat. Meat is not what I need. I need movement. Uh, okay, a, gu um, a guillotine's always good. I think a guillotine, a guillotine, 
always has a uh, universal it always has universal uh, application so so i'm okay with that the meat was an insult but i can overlook it okay let's try to explore up here and then what i'll do is i'll loop around through the right side go down that little Ooh, razor wire i think i saw a razor wire that could be an idea Okay, good, good. Any damage reduction is always going to be a positive in my eyes. Uh, what's that? Death's Mark. Warhorn. Yeah, I think Razor Wire is probably the best out. Oh, but hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Could I interest you in uh, another location? Because I don't want you anywhere near mine. I think, actually, wait, would Razor Wire work? Razor Wire would work very nicely for now. But I think if I want to go long term, Death Smart. Because I'm going to start stacking Stasis procs. So, questions. Definitely um, something I need to think about. Nah, I'm going to go Razor Wire. <laughs> I thought about it. I'd rather survive now. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the end at this point. My my ideology with multi is deal with everything as it comes. Because I have no clue about if I'm going to make it to the future. I, I, I just hate his early game that much. I, 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 cause I think that's what it is. It's his early game. His early game to me is abysmal. He is probably one of the best survivors in the late game. You know, unstoppable, tanky, consistent damage, rapid damage, constant status debuffs and status effects, proccing more damage. And, you know, he's a, he's a tiny little machine doing his job in the, in the barren wastelands of the deserts. But goddamn, in the early game, he sucks. Come on. Come on. You know how this goes. You know this song and dance. You die. I survive. God, there's so many. It's like that one meme with the girl on the couch. What did we get? I don't I don't know if I can proc that. Oh, with the other, with the rebar I can. But not with my nail gun. So it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Okay. A very nice stage two. Very, very nice. I just I just oh gosh. I'm just happy I made it past stage one to be fair. Because that stage one was looking very, very atrocious. Okay, stage three. Hopefully to a nice stage three. If I end up in stinky land, I'm going to be in trouble. Me and my big mouth. What's that? Gasoline? More gasoline is always perfect. Increasing the range and damage of our heat proc. Ah, finally. Finally, the sacred foot. I'm so excited. You can hear my excitement. It's palpable. A med kit as well. Ugh. This just, this is just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Multi, Multi has, he makes me feel very mixed. Mixed emotions. 
on one hand i'm glad to see this stuff but on the other hand i'm just i'm just counting the i'm, I'm just counting the minutes until the clock decides hey ho time to die because you are built like a uh, samsung fridge samsung fridge yeah yeah those those exist right samsung fridge exists okay give me the goods mm -mm. hold on potential that that does have potential now i'm not sure if it's good potential but I have started to become a frenzy enjoyer. I I have no idea what what killed, but I'm glad it's over, and I'm glad that even though I had, you know, collapse put on me twice, I didn't absolutely get obliterated into nothing. That definitely puts a smile on my face. Cause collapse is collapse is quite the ability. I'm I'm very, very confuddled about About the just the, the, the absolute sporadic nature of collapse. One day you're fine. The next minute you see those hypnotic red circles and you just you just close your eyes and give in. It's like, well, I guess it's my time now. Did I just see a... Okay, I did see a blind pest. Uh, those void items do look appetizing. And I can do them because I no longer have health. I have moon barrier... Um, protection. I have shields. That's what it is, shields. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be too amiss if I just nom up all of those void items. For now, though, let's get rid of these pests, and then I think I'll be ready to hit the TP. So let's let's do that now. Right, not the best. So let's get some high ground. Cause I think if we take high ground, they'll mostly do that attack where they throw the the balls from their, their heads. They won't do the ones Ah, I was wrong. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. Dead. Okay, relying on a lot of bleed here. Just stacking up a lot of bleed. That's kind of that's kind of just how a lot of these fights are gonna go in the early game. So I'm very lucky I even have that bleed in the first place. Okay, where are you? Ooh, good idea. Very good idea. Come, into the void. They're, they're practically killing themselves. Okay, that one killed itself. And you've become... Oh. You've, you've uh, started sipping some of that... Some of that uh, purple rain. That purple Zaza. But you've become a purple man. Oh crap, wait, he's become... That means... My plan. My plan is in Tassis. I have to kill him the old-fashioned way. Well, that sucks. I thought I was pretty smart there. I thought I was really smart. But that's okay, because now everything else will attack it too. 
Hopefully. If they stop attacking me. Which they won't. So sad. Big sad. But I can use the dash to gain some armor. Whoa, that was fast actually. Oh, but then I also have a guillotine. So that means I can do things. That means I can kill it early. So that's good. So I'm, I'm kind of weighing out whether I'm happy or not. That's, that's what I mean. Multi. Very mixed emotions. I don't know how I feel. On one hand, I'm happy. On the other hand, I'm sad. In both cases, I'm confused. Now, you should be dead. Because guillotine. And now, I'll happily partake of that. And you die. You die. I think I'll charge the CP. And then I think I will go do the void bubble. Because there were a few cradles in there. And that might be just a bit of the damage boost I need. If I could get collapse, maybe that would be a lot more helpful. Uh, a Wongus. Actually, a Wongus is kind of useless now. Uh, maybe a Tentable. Anything status related. Uh, what else? What else would be good? Maybe a uh, Atomic Shrimp. Oh, Atomic Shrimp would be... No, because that creates its own barrier, doesn't it? I was thinking, because I have Transcendence, does that all count as a shield? But then, no, I don't think it does with Atomic Shrimp. It has to be a, a Void, a, a void uh, shield, I think. If I'm, if I'm right about that. Okay, there we go. Done, done, done. So I'll have a look in here, and that gives me more shield. Okay, appreciate it. Get rid of that. A singularity band. Definitely useful. Uh, health is back, so we can do that again. And that's a key. Okay. Key is key is useful. Looking towards more of a long term goal. I can I can get with it. Uh oh, I missed one. Here we are. And this should be an actual item. So we'll go with a backup mag. Why? I don't know. What does that even do? Launch a canister. Stun bonnets. Eh, it's done now. Nothing I can do. Let's head out of here. Next map. Either Sundered Grove, Hell, or... I think, I think that's it. Sundered Grove or Hell. We're in Hell. Great. And a molten uh, magma worm to greet us. Come on. Boom. Singularity. How'd you like that? How'd you like my singularity? How does it taste? I would like to claim my item, please. Oh, it does turn the whole thing into shield. Holy crap. I didn't know it could do that. I didn't know it does that. Um, uh, That's amazing. I don't think I've ever had this combination happen before, though. So it, it does make the whole thing shield. So that means I'm, I'm always going to have it up. That's perfect. Oh, that's incredible damage. Oh, that's good damage. That's some healthy eating. That's some good shrimp. Some good soup. Okay, potential here, potential here. Right, that is 4.0. Oh, they're back inside, they're back inside, they're back inside. Stranger danger. Okay, 4.5k. That seems doable under the right conditions. And 
I don't think I'm going to satisfy the right conditions. Uh, what's here? I'm going to take the ignition tank because I already have gasoline, so that's just a no-brainer. And what did I get from this? A med kit? Okay, if I find a scrapper, then that means I have at least four pieces of scrap available. Maybe five if I get rid of the sun grenade. Um, but I'll definitely get rid of the meat and I'll get rid of the med kits and maybe the fireworks is still up for debate I don't know if I want a legendary so we'll hold off if, if I happen to get about 3000 then we'll go for it but I'm not exactly thrilled at the prospect of Oh, you know, legendary chest. Magma, I'm still not dead. Okay. Okay, Frenzy. Frenzy's helping out quite a bit. Frenzy's definitely good. I'm liking the Frenzy. It's just, it's just, um, it's just a massive, just adrenaline spike. That's what frenzy is. So yeah, we're pretty much at 3k. Okay, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll farm up. 4.5, I think it was. That atomic shrimp is really helping. That um, atomic shrimp and transcendence combo is really something. That's really doing pieces. I like that a lot. I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. If I ever decide to be stupid enough to do another multi-run. <laughs> I probably won't. Not in the, not in the near future. Well, who knows? This this run might be the one that makes me uh, think that, hey, maybe it's not so bad. I just need to get past that awful early game. And I know it's, it's subjective. You can say that, oh, there are people who have worse early games, like Artificer. Or NG, even. If you can't get your Bungus. But I, I kind of just... I, I think I'm solidified in thinking Multi has the most abysmal early game for me i just i just feel like i'm i'm unable to move and i just feel like i get hit for no reason okay bottled chaos kind of useless right now actually no i can i can use it i could i could use that just because I don't heal doesn't mean I can't use the equipment. That was that was definitely shallow of me, so I apologize, I'll take that back. Singularity band is definitely putting in a lot of utility right now. I'm glad I'm glad I picked that up. Oh I had Gobo or Gubu. Oh that's good. That's good as well. That's that's definitely good. That sentient meat hook. Because I feel like with the singularity band as well, it's just going to make it so much easier for Nailgun to hit. Because at, at first glance, Nailgun seems good. It's like, oh, you know, it's just a high, a high, um, a high speed, you know, attack. But if you notice a bit closer, the more you shoot Railgun, the more it's sort of going everywhere. And it's, it's becoming very inaccurate. It's becoming very sporadic. So, you know, the singularity is working extremely well at grouping every enemy together. And then, especially with the sentient meat hook as well, what it basically does is it will take your target, or at least this is what I hope it will do, is that it will take your target, say, say you're aiming at one singular Lemurian, or one singular imp, 
it's going to be difficult with an inaccurate weapon. But if you have a group of them all bundled up in one spot, you're more likely to hit something. You're just making the target bigger in surface area, not in physical appearance. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my... That's kind of how I'm thinking. Like, this is going to be no problem, because these guys are massive. So that's that's pretty much fine. These guys are just going to get the what for. But with smaller enemies, I do think I do think with multi, you want something to group them up. Either a primordial cube or singularity band or sentient meat hook. You know, just something to make the surface area of things a lot more bigger. Plus, I guess it helps with flying enemies too. Right, gonna have a little scour around because I do see a lot of free items here. And then I think I'll, I'll probably just double out and go to Sky Meadow. Attack speed, very important on multi. I'd say, I'd say, well, most builds I've seen for multi usually revolve around his nail guns. And... It's usually high status and high attack speed, which makes a lot of sense. Because even even now, I'm not at uh, a maximum attack speed and I haven't got a lot of status. But I'm still doing quite a bit of damage through just procking things. All my damage is coming from being able to proc something. And if, uh, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer that if you have a higher attack speed, you're more likely to proc. So yeah, that's that's a that's a healthy thing to have, I suppose. Attack speed. It's quite calm here when it's not trying to kill me. I like it. It's serene. I mean, it's a bit red and there's fire everywhere, but it has its charm. There's there's no way I'm getting up there. All right, off to Sky Meadow. I do find it interesting how each area is so unique. And it's all still on the same planet. Like, that's that's the weird thing. This is all on the same planet. So Sundered Grove, Hell, the Amphilian Sanctuary, uh, the Siphoned Forest, you know, the Titanic Plains. All of that is on the same planet. And that's the moon. Like, that's crazy. Kind of makes you wonder was petrical 5 originally like this because from what i understand and what i understand is very little essentially none of these creatures live on this planet they, they this how do i say this it, essentially the planet is like a zoo i think i think providence stole uh, well, not stole, but he, like, saved, at quotation marks, saved certain species from themselves, I suppose. And he put them all on this planet to, to save them, preserve them even. Obviously, Mythics didn't like that, because he doesn't see why you would do something like that. It's kind of pointless. Arguably, I, I do see that point as well. It is kind of pointless. Why would you do something so asinine? But nonetheless, it was done. So I'm assuming that the planet might have been terraformed to accommodate each race. Actually, to be to be fair, maybe the 
Maybe the parents were the only things that actually survived here naturally. That might be a shout. Because they're the only thing that doesn't look... Um, what's the word? Conventional. As we know it. They look alien. And I know you can say, oh, but the Zai construct. Yeah, yeah, the Zai construct. That thing is... That, that thing's robotic. It, it's the same thing as multi in my eyes. But it's like the Void Fiend, for example. That thing is is different. I can imagine, but then, you know, Void Fiend is the Void. That makes sense. It's it's already designated an area. It's like Groudon in a volcano or Kyogre in the sea. It just, that, it goes hand in hand. But I feel like the parents and the grandparents and the children are the only ones that are native to Petricor. Or maybe, maybe nothing is native to this place. Maybe it was just Mithrix, uh, Providence, and Nukahana? Was that, was that the third god? I know there were three. There was the goddess, who I think is Nukahana, based on Nukahana's opinion. I, I think that's her. There's Mithrix, and then there's Providence. Providence you fight in the first game. I think you kill him. That's, that's kind of... That's kind of the big wow factor. And then Mithrix is like, oh... I don't like that. I actually don't know what the story of this game is. Because... Irregardless of if we do anything, Mythrix will still be on the moon. Arguably, you can say that the only reason the moon ever gets destroyed is because we uh, kind of expedited that whole shindig. That's an interesting thought. Like, what if... So, so there was a distress signal on this planet. From the previous crew, I think. So the risk of rain one crew? And then we followed it as the risk of rain two crew. And we ended up stuck on the planet. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna I probably sound really really ignorant right now, so I'm probably gonna look into it afterwards. But I'm open to anyone in the comments actually. If they, if they know anything about the lore, just sharing what they know about the lore. Uh, because I am kind of interested now. I'm kind of invested now that, I'm, now that the cogs in my brain are whirling around. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting thought. If we just leave everything alone, if we just never descended, none, none of this would have happened. But it can't be that simple to just say, oh, if we didn't descend. There had to be a reason that we're here. Otherwise, you know, you just just go home. There'd be no reason to stay. Let's be careful here. I wanna, I wanna head up. I don't wanna be down here. I want the high ground. Like Anakin. Okay, let's back up. Because you should always remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Darkest Dungeon. I should play that again. That was a good... See, I always say everything was a good time. But that's because I forget the bad times very easily. It may not have been a good time. What was a good time was Bioshock. I did play Bioshock on my... On my um, on my channel 
it was one of my first series that I ever did. It was interesting, to say the least. I li I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a. Uh, it was definitely a, a good um, experience. It was a breath of fresh air. It had really good world building. I'm I'm trying to find the words, but I think I think what I'm looking for is world building. It just felt really really cool. It was a whole new idea, and I love things. I love being underwater. So. I never played Bioshock, but I saw it once when I was a child in a, in, a, in a shop. I saw it on the on the on the shelf, and I was like, "Hey, that looks kind of scary." And uh, what? I'd say twelve years later, I actually bought the game on Steam. I bought all of them. I actually have Bioshock Two installed. I was thinking about playing it. Now the question is, do I record it for consistency because I already played the first one, or do I just do it for my own sake? something i'll have to sit on and decide when i feel like making a decision about it because at the end of the day it is you know my choice i i don't lose anything from doing it and i don't gain anything by doing it so i'm okay and um yeah so i played the first game and i wasn't ready for how scary it was in the beginning and then you get to like the midpoint and it stops being scary and you're more just confused and I kind of, I, I know it's it might be sort of strange, but I missed that beginning horror vibe that it had. I feel like, I feel like they should have done a lot more with that. Because it was fantastic. It really was fantastic. But I suppose it's the duality of giving your player character some power. That's why in Outlast or in Phasmophobia, they don't give you much to fight back with. Because if you can fight back, it's not so scary. Because you can do something now. But I just think in Bioshock it was it was it was great. It was fantastic. The atmosphere that they set. And then halfway through I was kind of like, well now I'm just now I'm just lost. Who who's who's on my side? Who's not on my side? Who am I who am I helping? Why is that man purple? You know, it's it, it, you start to think about all these things that stop making sense now. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll have as much fun as I did with the first game, with the second game. And then I've heard really good things about Bioshock Infinite. And I'm excited to see that as well because Bioshock Infinite, Bioshock Infinite looks like it's going to be a lot more colorful. And I do appreciate a very good color scheme. I, th there's two things I appreciate. There's, it's, a, it's a consistent color scheme. Or it's an ambitious one. But I don't like it when it's a... Um, I don't like it when it's chaotic. You know, I don't like going from one area being brightly colored to another area which is just monotone and gray and dull. I, I don't like that. It's it's like with um Dragon's Dogma. A lot of people don't like Dragon's Dogma because they think it's very washed out. But um one criticism that they have, I, I don't think um saying that they don't like it is is the right term. It's it's a criticism. So one criticism people have that I've seen is that they find the colours washed out. And I, d I don't think that's a criticism. I don't think that's something that should have been criticised. I think I think it was perfect. It was a perfect choice. You know, it's it's a it's a Japanese rendition of a medieval time, a Western medieval time, and medieval England, which I'm assuming is what the game is based off. Maybe even Wales. I think it might have been based off Wales. It was greyed out. It's not sunny fields, it's not saturated skies, it's dull, it's boring, it's it's England, you know? We don't get much sun here. So I do, I am a, I am a, 
I am a stickler for monotone color schemes, but I am very uh, open to the idea of an ambitious color scheme if done correctly. If, if, it, if it's done nicely, then yeah, I, I can get behind it. And I do feel like Bioshock Infinite has that, has that color scheme. I mean, even the normal Bioshock has it with the neon, but I feel like in, in Infinite, the neon's toned down and it's more of just a, a generic color scheme. Which is, which is kind of what I like. It's not, it's not, you know, bright emissive. It's radiated gradient. I don't know. I'm, I'm going on about this for too long. I'm, uh, I'm trying to find the words, but oh, finally a hot feather. But yeah, I, I'm hoping to play those, and I'm hoping to have fun with them. Hey, that's dope. Okay, now Multi's feeling a lot more fun. <laughs> I will say, he is feeling it. The, the robot is feeling a lot more... A lot more interesting. I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm definitely enjoying. What, what was I talking about? I feel like I just went on a bunch of different tangents. I was enjoying it. I'm not going to lie. I was enjoying talking about that stuff. The only problem when I go on so many tangents is I can never keep track and it makes it very difficult to, to immerse myself back into into the conversation because just, you're, you're trying to think about what's a good starting point to get back into how do you make it flow so it's not just it's not just like oh let's go back to talking about this You know, these videos are, they're a conversation between you and me. We're hanging out. It's not, it's not you watching me or, you know, this, we're, we're, we're chilling. We're, we're hanging out, we're, we're talking, we're in the comments discussing different things, different ideas. I'm learning so much from people in the comments about a game that I've got hours and hours in and I practically don't know anything. So, you know. That's that's a that's an amazing thing. Two of you. Oh, ho, ho. there's two of you. I sent him flying. Holy crap! Oh wait, why am I afraid? I have no health. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm I'm hanging back as if I'm gonna get absolutely donked. But I I. I have no health. He has no power. I didn't realize these guys could spawn here. Focus crystals are coming in nicely. They're definitely coming in very, very nicely. That's four focus crystals. I think it is 20% for each one. So with four of them, we're doing about 80% close range, which is marvelous. And I will take, I will take glasses over speed. Probably the bad, the bad decision. But at this point, I think, I think I'm good. I think the frenzy is, is carrying me for, for any speed boosts. Because I'm killing, I'm killing quickly enough to keep rocking frenzy. Yeah, so we're we're okay. Okay, we're not okay. We're not okay. We are we are in danger. Danger. Activate. Uh, activate women deflectors.
Hmm. Okay, TP's there. And then let's do... Let me have a quick look over here. It doesn't look like there's much. So I can do this and then wait for my health to regen. That one just showed up way too late. Way too late. When I needed you the most, you... You abandoned me. Granted, it was stage one, and there wasn't really much chance for it to appear afterwards, but... You know, my point stands. I feel abandoned. Okay, let's hit TP. Doom Striders? Okay, we'll do one of those. And then we'll do one of those. And then we'll do one of these and a little bit of those and a little whap a pow and they're dead and jump on the rocks and and do that and double jump because flight. Whap pow. I would like to escape. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll embrace it. Embrace the suck. It's dead. And we get... Oh, okay. Not too bad. To be fair, it's still viable. These health items... Yeah, the health items are still viable. Because if I find a lunar pod, then I'll go back to having health. That's, that's pretty much the way I see it. Transcendence was just a tool to survive the early game. But now that I've got essentially a, a decent health plan, a decent health insurance, I can, I can get rid of Transcendence at the first sign. And perhaps even get a, um, what's the word, a, a Luminescent Pearl? Is it, is it Luminescent Pearl? It's, it's the good Pearl, not the bad one. It's the, it's the... The activated pearl, which I think does uh, it doesn't increase to all of your stats, whereas the uh, the not activated pearl only does ten percent health. I think. <gasps> Is that a printer for attack speed? Okay, I'm on the hunt for a scrapper. I am on the hunt for a scrapper. And then we're just gonna funnel all of that straight into into that printer. All right. I'm definitely seeing an increase in damage thanks to that Berserker's Pauldron. I wonder. I wonder how that stacks. I do wonder. Because if I just have... How many do I have? I have the one. I just have one and it's doing more damage. So does it... I'm assuming it will increase the duration of Frenzy. From like four seconds to maybe eight. Maybe double it. Let me do this. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Okay. That's, that's okay. I'm okay with that. 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 Might not be okay with that. But I'll do one more. 
Because what am I at? I'm at nine. I'm okay with that. I'll do one more. Oh, I'm not okay with that. No, no, no. Okay. No more. No more. No more. Well, we at eleven. Yeah, no more. I'd I'd say that's a that's a decent increase. From basically having one syringe, maybe two syringes to eleven. Yeah, I'd say I'd say it's very lucky. I could just, I could just, no. I'll, I'll keep it. It's, it's fine as is. I was gonna say I could just, I could just ramp that all the way to. Actually, no. I'm lucky I didn't lose my gasolines. Don't tempt fate. Just don't do it. Alright, only thing missing is speed. Health is pretty much taken care of. Damage is through the roof. Just speed. Just need movement. And we will be in a very nice position to just do whatever I want. What are you? What the hell are you doing up there? Damn, that would have been three if I hadn't lost it. That's alright. Uh, okay, TP is up here. I think I'm good to hit it. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. Mm. I don't think there's a need to do uh holy crap holy crap holy crap holy crap holy crap oh no 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 hold on hold on hold on come on regen 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 there we go 16 health oh, 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 oh. that was that was uh, that was courting death that was testing fate I never want to do that again. That that was a very, very reckless decision on my part. And it was only by pure luck that I lived. My god. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go. going to start sucking. I could probably get this one to start. Okay, these guys have to go. Because I feel like they're just gonna they're gonna bite me on the backside when my pants are down and I'm not looking. And I want to make sure I'm always topped up on my health. If I'm below half health, I just want to get out. That's kind of how I'm going to treat the situation.
<laughs> Just wait here for a little bit. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Holy crap. Oh, what? <clears throat> unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I got blindsided. I thought I was safe in that little pocket, but turns out I wasn't. Ah, <sighs> but it's over. It's all ogre. Um, multi. Yeah, let's have a look at that new ability. What is it? A scrap launcher. Fire a rocket that explodes at 360% damage. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, multi. Aggressive survivor is the tools necessary for any job. Yeah, except the fact that he moves like a refrigerator. Like, he's, he's terrible at movement. Um, early game. Early game multi makes me want to gouge out my eyeballs and amputate my hands. Late game multi? Yeah, that's a fun survivor. Um, yeah, but it's just, it's just going to be a lot of trial and error to get through those first stages alive. Otherwise, I can see him being very, very fun. Uh, again, maybe I'm just using the wrong abilities. I still am missing three. Uh, land the killing blow on an imp overlord with pre on. Ooh, that's oddly specific. And this one? Clear the void fields on stage seven or later. So basically complete void fields. Okay. Um, But yeah, so maybe those change his gameplay. Maybe they make him fun. But it kind of just feels like you're, you're just a moving target and a very slow moving target in the beginning especially with all these blind pests and um yeah i think the only reason i died at the end is just because i couldn't move quick enough to react and then the balls took away my one shot protection then that vulture just finished me uh but yeah that was that was pretty successful i actually got further than i thought i would it's just a shame i couldn't use those 11 syringes uh, any more than I already did. But yeah, not too bad all in all. So multi off the list. And now there are only two left. So I will see you when we tackle those last two, which I'll probably will do at the same time. So the next run will probably be loader slash heretic. As always, have a good day, a good evening or a good night.